Hi everybody, this is Sifi Readings and hi Pisces. How are you guys doing? Happy birthday to all the Pisces out there. Let me know when's your birthday. Mine's March 3rd. It is just coming up, okay? Um, let's see. Also, after tarot messages, I'm going to give you handwritten notes, messages from your person. And in case this reading resonates, check out the link in the description box to the extended. Uh, for your person's in-depth reading, your blessings, your challenges, and also um, your soulmate reading will be linked below. So we have the Four of Pentacles. So uh, Pisces, I feel like for a lot of you, your energy is very held back right now. Uh, you're not maybe wanting to open up too much, okay? You're very reserved with your energy. Some of you could be saving money or very careful with where you're spending your money. What's helping or hindering you? Actually, let's, let's bring it here. Is the Six of Swords. So I do feel like Pisces, um, you're walking away from something. Your energy is reserved and you're walking away from something. Some of you could also be planning to travel or move. But I'm really seeing here that your focus is to let go. And, you know, perhaps whatever it is you're letting go of, it was causing stress in your life. Okay, so I feel like you're deciding to let go and release that. There's this energy of walking away. Ten of Pentacles. Nice. So the month of March for you is looking very positive to me. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. First of all, I see a lot of focus being on your money, your goals, and your 3D world. So if you have invested your money somewhere or you're looking for a new job, I feel like the month of March is going to be treating you really well as far as your money is concerned. And I'm also getting here, Pisces, that you have your long-term stability in mind with the Ten of Pentacles, you know? Um, you want to make changes happen. And with that Ten of Pentacles, you, like I said, you have your long-term stability in mind, especially when it comes to relationships, even when it comes to your work. You want something that is stable. You want something... Um, that, you know, it's like you don't want to worry about anything no more. So most of the decisions you're making have to do with your long-term um, decision making, okay? When it comes to a relationship, you are wanting commitment. Some of you also want a partner who's very ambitious or somebody who's able to take care of you. For others of you, this is really just you wanting somebody stable to connect with as well. Somebody who has good things going on for them. Um, some of you feel like Pisces, like you can do so much better in your life than you are currently doing. And I don't know why that is, but you could be feeling that, okay? So I feel like sometimes you also think that people are always taking, taking, taking from you energetically. And it gets very tiring for you to just give, give, give. Because, you know, I feel like people are taking from you because you are in the position to give to them. But with that Six of Pentacles in the past, you were giving into a situation to create some form of balance. Or it's like you were generously giving your energy to somebody. But now you're not doing that no more with that Four of Pentacles. Now you're like, you know what? I have given enough of my time, money, energy, resources into this and I don't want to do it no more. Okay. Um, future energy, nine of pentacles, stable, grounded, very independent. You're not looking for a relationship. You know, this is you finding that sense of comfort, sense of peace with um, what you've created in your life with what you've created around you and you're happy with it you know you're happy with it you you're you're also happy how far you've come what you have accomplished okay you're happy with that and i see you creating more uh, wealth or creating more abundance in your life you know your mindset is very clear in the month of march you have this very cutthroat, clear approach that anybody who's coming towards you and is disrupting your peace, I feel like they got to go. I do feel like with that ASOS, there could be a new idea. 
um, you could feel inspired to create something new or it's like the communication is very clear for the month of March for you okay so so far so good I see a lot of 3d energy a lot of pentacle money energy okay page of pentacles uh, who's coming towards you ace of cups in your hopes temperance your outcome eight of cups your challenge nine of cups and your advice here is the high priestess bottom of the deck seven of cups nine of wands so pisces for a lot of you i feel like you're gonna have options in love because there's not just one person that I'm seeing here coming towards you. I'm kind of seeing multiple people, okay? So I like that energy. You're gonna have a lot more to choose from. So it's like your options are not limited. Your advice here has something to do with trusting your intuition, especially if you feel like I'm hearing silent treatment. So Pisces, some of you could be giving silent treatment to somebody else. <laughs> okay but the high priestess energy here is calling for you to trust your intuition to listen to your intuition especially if you're meeting new people or if you're connecting with people and you can feel that there's something up then there probably is i see you with that page of pentacles starting something fresh or your energy is very enthusiastic you're very much into starting this new beginning as well um holding that pentacle working towards something new i like it and honestly if you are you know going to be putting energy towards this you're going to see the fruits of your labor really quick so it's like whatever you're going to work hard towards you will see that it is going to pay off but you also need to initiate that energy on your end who's coming towards you ace of cups a new start in love, a new beginning in love, Pisces. Whoever this person is, I feel like they, when they look at you, they cannot resist. Hence why the cup is overflowing here, okay? However, for you, what is more important is you take your time. So if somebody is coming towards you in a relationship, you really don't want to be rushing, you know, because you kind of feel like you want to take your time, you want to assess the situation and then give it, give into it according to that. With that temperance, I see balance, I see growth, I see patience. And we see like she is watering uh, the plant here. We also have fire energy. This card is about manifestation, but it's also about surrendering at the same time. And that is the art of manifestation when we are able to surrender. Uh, when we are not desperate for something and I feel like that is exactly what your energy is and from that place No doubt we attract, you know So outcome from the reading Pisces is the eight of cups. See you're choosing to walk away from what no longer serves you You're letting go of the pain the the heartbreak the hurtful energy Okay, because I feel like whatever it is that you're walking away from even though there was emotional fulfillment in the connection. There was something making you happy, but something felt incomplete. Okay. And, um, you know, you're going to really enjoy your alone time in the month of March. But I also see a possibility of travel for you. We have the Nine of Cups. Your challenge here, some of you tend to get codependent. Or it's like there is somebody you're connecting with, you're dealing with, they make you happy and then you attach your sense of happiness to them or you overgive to a point you forget about yourself. The big message here for you is to not forget about yourself in the middle of all of this, Pisces. And perhaps you really need to spend some time alone to figure out is it something you want or not, you know? So the month of March is like that point from where you're moving forward. A lot of the things that you're deciding on, a lot of the things that you're working towards, they're going to benefit you for, you know, in the long run. So let's clarify. <clears throat> what is that Ace of Swords for Pisces? Three of Pentacles. Pisces, you're going to have a lot of opportunities in the month of March to connect with people, to collaborate with people, to grow your finances. Three of Pentacles is also 
uh, receiving rewards of your work, okay? So I do like this energy. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Why is the page of pentacles here? Eight of wands. <laughs> Pisces, get ready to receive. Page of Swords, Four of Cups. Pisces, there's somebody coming to... Okay, I'm going to get to it in a bit. Okay, so for you, Pisces, with that Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, there is a lot of forward movement for you in the month of March. Um, I see a lot of focus being on achievement. Um, even good news may be coming towards you. It's like Page of Pentacles is an energy that... I am ready to take initiative towards something and eight of wands is amplifying that so especially if you have something new on your mind i feel like things are gonna get amplified especially in your money like money is looking really good for you and another message here is that there's some form of divine presence here with that temperance and the high priestess there's something here about um some of you maybe love to watch tarot or you're a spiritual person yourself and maybe you've been praying about something, meditating. I see you very close to God as well, okay? So whoever you're connecting with, Four of Cups, Page of Swords, there is a person here, Pisces, who spies on you. But I feel like Pisces, I feel, okay, you could be ghosting somebody in the month of March and this person kind of feels rejected by you with that Four of Cups. With that Ace of Cups, they want to give you that love, but they feel like you're going to reject them. And how they view you is somebody who is completely irresistible. Like, they look at you as a person who is irresistible, Pisces somebody they cannot take their eyes off okay that's how they see you what is pisces manifesting you need to be careful of things that tire you out in the month of march pisces two of cups i do see a union with somebody or i see you connecting with somebody but i feel like for a lot of you the month of march you should really focus on what makes you happy connecting to your higher self and doing things that are going to help you as a person. That are going to help you feel more uplifted as a person. It's time to let go of what you're already tired of. Of what you already feel burdened by. Okay. Why is the High Priestess Pisces advice? Why is that their advice, please? Why is that their advice? three of wands <clears throat> Pisces you also have the sun card here and the three of swords so it does look like you waited a lot for a person some of you could be getting nostalgic as well these days like things that you used to do when you were a kid or like going down the memory lane especially when you were in school and stuff I feel like for a lot of you you've like been through something tough but with the sun card, it's like giving you a sense of peace and hope again. And three of wands means that what you've been wanting is coming in, but you got to trust with that high priestess. You're a very patient sign, but at the same time, impatient, okay? And you have the ability to adapt. And that is exactly what spirit is telling you, is listen to your intuition and trust the timing, okay? All right, let's have a look at your person. And if you want uh, a more in-depth reading about a person, the extended will be linked below. Your person, their thoughts of you, their feelings, future actions, what blessings are coming for you in general in the month of March and any challenges. So do have a look, it will be linked below for you. Okay. All right, let's see. Looking at your pictures and missing you. That is what I was seeing before as well. There's somebody, Pisces, who looks at your photos 
And they miss you. Look at that. <clears throat> Both of these cards have a similar message. There is somebody who's spying on you, who's looking at your photos on social media. I feel like there's somebody on your like Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok who has their eyes on you. And if you don't use social media, it, I don't know who this is. It could be your pause person, but it does look like somebody has their eyes on you. Cheater. Hmm. This, this could be a person who cheated on you before, Pisces. So be very careful with that, if that is the case. Yeah, Pisces, you need to be careful of somebody. There could be a person coming towards you who's a cheater and they're not honest. And you can probably tell because you are the high priestess, what's up with them. But at times you're like, okay, maybe it's just me feeling it. Maybe they're not like this. Maybe I should give them a chance. No, if you're feeling something, trust it, especially if you feel like there's something wrong with that person. Because with that Seven of Cups, there's not just one person who's into you. There's more than one person who's into you. Again, cheater, be cautious. How come you're getting two cheater cards together? Okay, there could be a person who had a third party situation going on and you found out about it. Or it's like you don't know, but... It's like, okay, Pisces, if you're connecting with somebody new, you need to do your research because they could be cheating on their partner. And if it's about your past person, you could already know the truth about them. Text or call from them. See, somebody is going to text or call you, but you need to be careful with who you're getting involved with. You also have closed off in mental health. So in the month of March, focus on your mental health, Pisces. Have boundaries, you know. Show me more, please. Show me more. Show me more, please, for Pisces. Commitment issues. You need to be careful. You also have feeling guilty. Somebody's feeling guilty for how they behaved with you, Pisces. But is it the right time for them to open up to you? And are you willing to, you know, have them back in your life? That is, that is, you know, the question as well. Do you want to have them back in your life? Let's see, what is your guided message to close off this reading? Do hit the like button if you resonated with the reading. All right. You have fate, creator, and destruction. <clears throat> I feel like Pisces, we see an we see an egg here, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, there's something that's a part of your destiny. That, and I feel like this is representing creation, creating something, okay? What is a part of your fate will come to you? This is something that's a part of your destiny. And I see that egg being very decorated. So this is something, it's almost like a very pleasant surprise from the universe for you. We have destruction and the creator. So the thing is that before the surprise or the good stuff shows up, something is getting destroyed or something is being taken away from you. <clears throat> and then you have the creator. So this is the card is about finding your creative passion, um, connecting to that energy within you, feeling inspired, feeling inspired to create. You know, Pisces have the natural ability to think outside the box. And that is exactly what your cards are saying. I so want to read the Fate card and the Creator card for you. So let's do that. Fate. This card is a reminder that you create your fate. While some lessons and experiences are inescapable, we have free will and choice within the life we are given. This does not always equal fairness as we do not all start from 
sorry, as we do not all start life from the same footing, nonetheless, each choice we make matters. From this place, we can approach the creation of our life in an empowered way. Nice. So let's see what the creator is saying. If I can find it. Okay. Creator finds us when we need to move the raw and pure energy in our body and allow it to the physical to allow it to physically manifest. To be with creation is to simply interpret that which is already within us. There are no rules for creation. This card also may indicate a time where you need to protect your creative work. Think of ideas, inspiration, and creativity as a seed that needs attention, nurturing, and protection. If you have an idea or are working on something that you're being encouraged to keep the energy close to you. So don't overshare your plans with other people, especially before you even do something about them. <clears throat> Nurture the seed, protect it, and keep it within your personal container. Do not scatter or share creative energy with others until you know it is the right time. Wow. The balanced creator has lots of energy and finds inspiration easily. Others may perceive them as always moving to new things, but in reality, they are grounded enough to show up to one idea in order for it to manifest. They also have a playful disposition and are skilled at turning challenges into opportunities to problem solve, as opposed to allowing themselves to get defeated. This is a flexibility and fluidity inherent in a creator, which is electric and can serve as a catalyst for others to tap into their own wells of inspiration. I feel like Pisces, this card describes you as a person. And this is telling you to tap into that creative energy, but don't overshare your plans with other people, especially before you even manifest them for yourself, you know? Anyway, that's about it, Pisces. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Do check out the extended linked in the description box below and your soulmate reading will be linked below as well. Take care of yourself, Pisces, and bye-bye.